Another concept crucial for cryptography is cyclic groups and generators. So now, a generator is a group element that generates all elements from the group by repeatedly applying the group operation. A generator is sometimes also called a primitive element. And what do I mean by that? Well, here's an example. One is the generator of the additive group of integers. Because by repeatedly applying the group operation to itself, we get all the integers. Because 1 plus 1 is 2, 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3, 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 4. So we get all integers just by using the 1 and the addition operation. So, in the finite field F5, so all numbers modulo 5, remember it's a field because 5 is a prime number, 2 is a primitive element. Um, so, in the multiplicative group, it's a generator. That is because if I multiply 2 by itself, I get all the group elements. Two power of zero, uh, no no multiplication operation, it's just one. Uh, two is two, two times two is four, two times two times two is three, modulo five. So these are all elements of the group, of the multiplicative group within the field F5, except for zero, which is not part of the multiplicative group in a finite field, as we have learned, or in a field in general. So, a cyclic group is a group that has, has at least one generator. So, if the group can be generated from one element, then it's a cyclic group. So, the multiplicative group in F5, for example, was a cyclic group. Now, another term that you should fami be familiar with is the root of unity. That is an element that, if it's raised to some positive power, it yields 1. And it turns out every non-zero element in a finite field is a root of unity. And every unit, so an element with an inverse in a ring, is also a root of unity. Now, the order is another term. The order of a group element is the number of times you have to apply to that element the group operation until you receive the identity element. So in case of our generator from earlier, the 2, 2 has an order of 4. Because if I apply the group operation multiplication 4 times, I end up at 1. This group identity is a positive number bigger than 0. So if this number doesn't exist, if no matter how often I apply the, the group operation to the element, it just never yields the identity element, then we say this element has an order of infinity. 